A defense chief from the U.S. and China have already met face-to-face -face for the first time in more than 18 months on the sidelines of the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin held talks with his Chinese counterpart Dong Jun that lasted approximately 75 minutes. The rival ministers reaffirmed a resumption of military-to-military -military communications in the coming months, while Beijing hailed the country's, quote, stabilizing security relations. Went well. Oh, Mr. Orson's response to a question posed regarding the outcome of the longer than expected discussion. Mr. Dong Jun was equally brief to reporters when he emerged from the talks. <laughs> China has described the talks as, quote, positive, but cautioned that it was not possible for Beijing and Washington to solve all their problems in a single meeting. Well, the Pentagon says Secretary Austin underscored the importance of respect for freedom of navigation in the South China Sea and expressed concerns about the increase in Chinese military activity near Taiwan during the meeting. The U.S. defense chief added that Beijing should not use Taiwan's election as a pretext for, quote, coercive measures. And CNA's Olivia Xiong takes us through some key takeaways from the news conference held by the Chinese delegation after this meeting between Mr. Lloyd Austin and Mr. Dong Jun. We heard from the Defence Ministry spokesperson uh, straight after those talks ended. He came in with a smile and started the briefing and painted the talks in a rather positive light. In fact, he did say that this was positive, practical, constructive communication that took place at a strategic level, adding that military-to-military -military ties between China and the US are now at a stage of stabilising and preventing it from further deterioration, which he he said the Chinese defense minister expressed that uh, this was something to be cherished. And we heard that these talks actually did go on for a bit longer than expected, for 75 minutes. Um, but we also do know that thorny issues were addressed. China's uh, defense ministry spokesperson said that China did express uh, its position on issues like Taiwan, South China Sea, uh, Ukraine, as well as the ongoing conflict in Gaza. Um, he did say, though, when I asked him how did the U.S. respond uh, to these Chinese statements, he said that's something that the Pentagon will have to speak for itself for. But he said that from the Chinese perspective, there was consensus and a better understanding from the U.S. side of China's position. And moving forward, uh, he said that there would be more talks and dialogue that had been agreed upon between China and the U.S. In particular, one thing that stood out. Out. He did say that at the start it could be difficult to restart these talks and have more dialogue on more sensitive issues. But he said that uh, it, things could start from less sensitive areas. He said that uh, there is a need to gradually accumulate and build up mutual trust step by step and to expand that. And the two sides can start with areas like academic exchanges. And he said that there will be more details coming up. One of the things with regard to the China-US relationship that the Defence Ministry spokesperson said was that China values peace and prioritizes stability and upholds credibility. Uh, this perhaps seen as a veiled warning uh, to the U.S. as it has often felt that uh, the U.S. has not kept to its promises or the agreements that it says had been made between uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden when they met back in November last year, which had led to this overall flaw in this uh, troubled bilateral relationship and China says it wants to see that and so uh, when we heard from uh, the Chinese side they were reiterating their positions and if we were to compare that with the statement that came out from the Pentagon it seemed that the US side on its part was reiterating its own position as well perhaps both sides talking past each other uh, but observers I've been speaking to say that this is something that's not unexpected the fact that both the China 
and the U.S. defense chiefs are sitting down together at the same table and holding these talks is significant in helping to manage a, conf- a possible miscalculation, which uh, is something the Chinese side said was the purpose of this communication as well. 